Well, it's time to dust off your old vinyl albums and records. Why? Because Saturday is Record Store Day. It's an annual event to celebrate the culture of independently owned record stores. And we're so excited they're still in business. I, I really am. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, me, all of us. Mm -hmm. So as part of that celebration, we're at one of Chicago's oldest record stores. Jackie Kostek is digging through the stacks at Beverly Records in the Beverly neighborhood this morning. Good morning, Jackie. I love the fact that you pulled out an old Donny Osmond album for me <laughs> in your a tease a little while ago. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Ryan and Dana, well, Ryan, or Dana, I loved your interview with Donny Osmond. That was incredible. And yes, I mean, they have an entire collection of uh, Donny Osmond, uh, the Osmonds, and Donny and Marie. Right. So you've got you basically got every era covered. of Donny Osmond sure. uh, here at Beverly Records. I'm here with Jack. It's a Jackie and Jack collaboration this morning. Good morning to you. <laughs> Hi, Jackie again. Okay, hello again. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the history. Uh, they mentioned that you started back in 1967, and it was your parents who started it, but right. it's really your mom who was credited with turning Beverly Records into what it is today, right? right? She accumulated records rather than send them back to the distributor. She would buy them outright. <laughs> we used to be able to send things back, but she said, no, people are asking for the older ones, so I want to have them too. And then she'd get those, and then she'd buy out a store and get more records. And we had uh, like four different stores at oh one time. Oh my gosh. And all consolidated back here again. This was the original store. What I think is absolutely fascinating, though, is that uh, Christine was not even really into music herself, no. but she became sort of obsessed and super and, and, uh, skilled at yeah. collecting these and, items, and right? She had the reputation of knowing music, yes. all different genres where she really didn't, but she learned from people and knew who to ask. Phenomenal. Uh, you mentioned that you might have up to or maybe over a million titles in this collection we between might. this location and the warehouse. A lot of really rare items that you can only find, I imagine, here at Beverly Records. Talk about well, some of these, these rare these items. These are some, some of the things that the Bears put out back in 85, which we still love the Bears. You don't, but we do. Monsters <laughs> of the Midway, Whoa. Bear Down, Chicago Bears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> uh, the sh Super Bowl shuffle, of course, and the baseball team, the White Sox. Yes, the go go White, White Sox. Sox, classic. This is came out in 1959 by Captain Stubby and the Buccaneers. Okay, we used to have a stack of these this tall. When Jeff at the score the scoreboard operator at Sox Park started playing this in 2005, people called us. And we were able to sell all those records, and people still wanted them. I love so it. So we licensed from Little Wally, who owned the label, the rights to make CDs out of these, which we sold 5,000 of these at the ballpark here, mail order, all over the world. Such good history. It, it, it actually became AJ Prezinski's uh, walkout song, right. too. You love this song so much. <laughs> uh, you guys, so much happening here at Beverly Records for Record Store Day on Saturday. They open at 8 a.m. They expect a line down the street. They've got a lot of different things that they're selling for Record Store Day. And then the party starts at 2 o'clock. They're going to have live music, a party in the parking lot. So come out, explore the, uh, the crates of all of these records. Again, they think they've got about a million titles of something for wow. everyone. Talk Come on and dig through them. Come on in and dig through them. Jackie, <laughs> just over your right shoulder, my favorite album I think of all time, Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life. Mm. The double album came out in 76. One of the first Where albums at Top Where Shelf. Stevie Wonder. Top Wonder. Shelf. Now go right your left because you're oh, turning top right. Top yeah, yes, that's Stevie a classic Wonder. right there. All right, we got to go. Thanks. Oh, yeah. oh, there. Thanks, Jackie. Thanks, Jackie. There, there you go. So, of course, you guys. Of course. <laughs>